I'm Simon Wilcox, I'm the production manager for AS Wilcox & Sons. So in a conventional system uh, from cultivation right through to harvest, uh, basically we're driving on 100% of the paddock, um, doing some rough calculations through the CTF block here. Um, we think we're probably only driving now on about 20% of, of the paddock. Um, so the other 80% hasn't been touched for over three years now from a compaction point of view. Well pretty quickly we learnt uh, we can make some, some real savings on cultivation. Um, it was probably something we didn't set out to achieve but in the first season um, uh, we did see, see reduced cost in cultivation and even more so in the second season there was a bit of setup cost in season one but in season two um, there was definitely, definitely reduced cultivation costs that appeared pretty quickly. Um, probably year one we didn't see, see really major gains in the field. We were growing our onion crop in year one. It was probably year two when we came in uh, with the potato crop and at harvest we did some pretty extensive uh, testing in terms of the amount of soil going into the pack house uh, and yield. And, we, we found we made some real good gains here in terms of the amount of soil going to the pack house. Through the wash line we made gains as well in, in reducing the amount of soil that had to be extracted off the tubers during the washing process. Uh, and sometimes the, the soil can stick to the tubers so much that they have to go through the wash process twice. Um, so the conventional potatoes that year did, some of those did get washed twice, uh, whereas the CTF potatoes only went through the wash process once. So we're making gains, one, in transport by not transporting as much soil to the pack house, and two, at the pack house through the washing process, reduce the cost um, in, in trying to extract soil from, from tubers. Probably in CTF, your wheel track maintenance is very, very key. So far I think it, it's probably our biggest challenge in CTF is maintaining the wheel tracks. It's, uh, it's a learn as you go type thing so um, we're here in the back end of October, we've had a bit of moisture in the last week so the idea is we'll go through this block um, and just loosen the wheel tracks um, in the hope that uh, we'll make the job easier for ourselves once this onion crop comes out of here and. Uh, January, obviously the soil will be really starting to dry out and, and cake fairly hard so trying to do that activity in, in January is going to be difficult so the idea is get in, in here now, loosen up those hard wheel tracks to try and make life a bit easier. So with the wheel tracks I'm hoping to uh, to just shatter the shatter the top sort of uh, 50, 50 to 100 mil. Um, and that'll just sit here loose. It'll help with uh, any more rainfall events we get. Uh, it'll help uh, slow water movement down the slope and um, infiltration into the soil profile. Um, but, but for me, I'm hoping the biggest thing will be leaving the wheel track loose so that we can then come through once the onion harvest is complete and clean some of that soil out of the wheel track and put it back onto the beds. Oh, I think the soil structure Already you can see improvements. I'm pretty excited about uh, doing our next potato crop next year uh, and assessing, assessing the soil at harvest and how much is on tubers and assessing uh, the quality of tubers uh, in terms of shape as well. Uh, I think it's pretty exciting to see what's going to happen next year because uh, you go through here and put a spade through, it's pretty obvious the CTF site compared to the conventional sites got definite soil structure gains already. So this is our uh, hill to harvester, um, single bed machine, it's actually currently set up for uh, conventional type harvesting, but um, what we do is we, we've uh, modified the axle so it's telescopic, it's a sliding axle, uh, and when we want to harvest in CTF mode we move uh, the left hand wheel out one row. Um, so, so it's sitting on the correct uh, wheel track for, for CTF. Um, the, the harvester is picking up the bed on the right hand side, so when it, it comes up and down the same bed. So it comes up with the wheel out, set out to the left, and when it comes back down 
the wheels set out to the um, left, left coming on the downhill side. Um, pretty simple, we've just got some uh, pins with lock nuts and stuff. So we just, just jack it up, slide it out, pin it, tighten it all up, and uh, we're set up for CTF. So uh, we're in the CTF site here. Um, I'll show you, it it's, takes very little effort to, to put the spade in here and um, dig, dig well down into the soil profile. Um, when, when I pull this out, you'll see, uh, you know, for us, the, uh, this is pretty good structure. You, you'd see a lot more um, big, bigger, nuttier um, soil particles. You know, this stuff's all pretty, pretty good, friable stuff. Easy for the roots to get down, to, down into. Okay, so so you can see in here, I'll show you how hard these wheel tracks are. So there's a few pies jumping up and down on that there. So uh, she's pretty hard. So you can see why. Um, maintaining your your wheel tracks at the right time and uh, trying to chisel, chisel some of this out and back onto the bed is the, the most important thing. So you can think uh, when, we're, when we're cultivating and, and harvesting and planting across 100% of the paddock you can imagine uh, what our beds were like in comparison to these these wheel tracks here. Okay so we're in the uh, conventional site broad acre cultivation like we normally do um, the old way of doing it and uh, we'll have a dig in here and, and see what things are like so a bit harder to get the spade in now we've hit, hit, hit the pan there um, pull that out and you can already see pretty pretty clearly that uh, you know we've got a lot bigger bigger particle soil particle sizes um, you know probably not so easy for the roots to get down they're getting down and hitting the pan probably what what this does for us is, is it's improving the potential um, for growing our crops you know growing more yield growing better quality uh, reducing crop cost in terms of cultivation uh, a sustainable future I suppose you could call it and that's that's the old buzzword at the moment sustainability um, but it is you know What's the next generation going to have to deal with, and the generation after that? If we can make a change now, um, you know, it's going to make make life easier for our kids and grandkids and great grandkids.